Hello! Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This video has been a long time coming because I've been eating a plant-based diet for over six years now and so many people ask me questions on how to eat more plants, how to meal prep, and at first it was so hard for me to know what to eat and now it is second nature and I can whip up a few recipes at the beginning of the week and we mix and match all week long to enjoy our food, eat a whole food plant-based diet with some treats and fun homemade baked goods in there as well. And so today I am showing you how I meal prep. I have a free PDF linked below with all the recipes and instructions and I also don't want to overwhelm you. So I have a section in there that says if you only have 30 minutes, make this recipe. If you only have an hour, make all these recipes etc. So I really hope that this video is helpful. Let's jump into the recipes. We love our baked goods and I love to make them at home because I can control the amount of sugar that's in them and yeah we just enjoy a baked good for breakfast a lot of the time or as a snack. I always add nut butter and fruit to round out the meal. So in this video I'm showing you guys how to make some pumpkin and chocolate swirl muffins. So as you can see, I'm whisking together all the wet ingredients and then I'm adding in the dry. These muffins are versatile. I've made them without the chocolate chips, which you'll see me add in a little bit. And they're still delicious. They're definitely not as sweet. So if you have young kiddos that you don't want to give chocolate to first thing in the morning, you can definitely omit these chocolate chips. I love chocolate and the chocolate chips really add so much to these muffins so I love to add them and I'm all about balance and I'm all about chocolate in the morning so yeah as you can see the base of these muffins is pumpkin and I'm gonna spoon half of the batter into the muffin cups just about a spoonful or so into each cup and then to the remaining batter I'm adding in some cocoa powder and just mixing that until smooth and then I'm gonna top the muffins with the chocolate batter. So not necessarily swirl brownies, but you get both flavors. I love to add a couple more chocolate chips on top, especially if I'm serving them to guests or want them to look nicer. As the muffins bake, I often will chop some vegetables that I'm gonna roast. Roasted vegetables are a staple in our house. I always have them on hand because they bulk up a meal, they add so much color and nutrition to our meals. So. While the muffins are cooking, I chop up a lot of veggies. Please don't mind the plastic, I try my best. Everything is wrapped in plastic here in Malaysia, but yeah, I often try to do heartier vegetables that will cook at the same temperature. So today I did carrots, sweet potatoes, and cauliflower, and I just try to cut them to about the same size so that they cook evenly. And then I just drizzle a little olive oil on top. I used to not cook with oil, and now I think a little goes a long way just to add flavor and moisture and so yeah, just drizzle with a little olive oil, add more as needed. As you can see, this is a huge bowl and we'll eat it in just a few days. Um, and then I just season with salt and stir everything to combine before lining some baking sheets with my favorite silicone baking mats and just dividing the vegetables between the sheets so that they're in a nice single layer. And then I just roast these in the oven after the muffins are done for about 20-25 minutes or until fork tender. And while those are roasting, I love to... I actually don't do this very often, but I love when I do, is just to chop up some veggies that we can have raw for snacking. So this day I had some bell pepper, some carrots, and some cucumber and they will be amazing dipped in some hummus that I'm gonna show you how to make a little later. I'm such a nibbler, so these are so nice to have on hand when I'm cooking or about to host friends, I can just nibble on my raw veggies so I don't get too full but can have a fun snack. Also, I love to prep some greens. Kale is a wonderful green to prep in advance because it's hearty and fibrous and so it won't wilt or get soggy if you add dressing to it early. And for this kale, all I'm doing is I washed and cut it, 
removed the really thick stem and I'm just squeezing in some lemon juice and massaging it in so that they become tender and they kind of wilt down a little and then I'm just going to store that in a container and we'll use that in a lot of different dishes later. Okay, this next recipe I'm probably most excited about because it's nothing I've ever made before on the blog or shown you guys. And if you know me, you know how much I love chocolate and cakey things. So today I'm just showing you how to make a quick chocolate mug cake mix so that you can whip up a quick dessert or even an afternoon treat, let's be honest, in about five minutes. So in this jar, I'm just combining equal parts oat flour, coconut sugar, and cacao powder. And then I added in a little salt and baking powder and I am stirring it until it's all combined. I just closed the lid also and gave it a good shake to make sure everything's incorporated. And then all you have to do to make a cake is put 1 fourth plus 1 tablespoon of the mix into a mug. Add in a teaspoon of oil for, yeah, just don't leave this out. It makes it so much better. And then 2 tablespoons of milk. You can really get creative with this and just kind of find the ratio that works best for you, but this is what I like to do. And then I stir in some mini chocolate chips. Stir it until it's all combined and you don't have any clumps of flour. And it's really smooth and chocolatey and oh my goodness, just looking at this, I need to make this ASAP. And then you're just going to put it in the microwave for probably about a minute or so and you can stop after 30-40 seconds, check on it. Let it sit for a second, continue to microwave it until the center is cooked through. And then I love to top mine with some nut butter, just natural peanut butter. And then a few more chocolate chips, of course. Oh my goodness, I'm making this this afternoon. It is so fudgy and cakey and will definitely curb your sweet tooth. Okay, my next recipe that I am so excited to share with you is something we like to call crack sauce because it turns even the most simple boring meals into something amazing. So all it is is tahini, soy sauce, rice vinegar, maple syrup for a little bit of sweetness, and then some minced, oh yeah, sesame oil, and then some minced garlic and ginger. And please don't mind my finger on this knife. And all you do is just mix that together in the jar that you want to store it in until it's smooth and creamy. It'll be thicker at first, so I like to add water until it's nice and runny and as it sits in the fridge it thickens up too so whenever you use it just add water if you need but we have this on hand all the time because if I don't know what to cook we just put crack sauce on some rice and veggies and we are set. Next I'm going to show you a delicious curried hummus and like I said at the beginning of this video, you don't have to make all of these recipes. Make what you're able and forget about the rest. I'm sure any little bit of meal prep will be so helpful. So in this food processor, I have some white beans, garlic, tahini, lemon juice, and then I threw in some of the roasted carrots and it's going to add this beautiful color and richness to this curry. And for spices, I added in some really good quality curry powder cumin and salt and then I just whiz this up until smooth and I drizzle in a little water so that it's not too thick and it becomes really creamy and smooth you could probably use olive oil if you want just drizzle in a little at a time until it's the thickness that you want and then I just pour this into a container cover it and put it in the fridge and this goes amazing with the roasted veggies with raw veggies as a dip yeah it will go with all of the recipes in this meal prep video and then for a grain i'm just using my rice cooker if you don't have a rice cooker get a rice cooker what are you doing it makes your life so much easier all i did was add two cups of brown rice and five cups of water to my rice cooker push down the button and let it do its thing while i made some energy bites we always have energy bites in our fridge for a snack. They are so easy to make. Basically, you add a mix in like chopped nuts, dried fruit, chocolate chips, quick oats, ground flaxseed. And this time I added in some cocoa powder for a chocolate flavor, but you don't need to do that. You stir that together until it's all combined, and then you're gonna add in equal amounts of a liquid sweetener. The thicker, the better, like a rice syrup or honey if you're not vegan and then a nut butter and in this case I used black tahini for extra calcium and iron 
and I just stir this together until a sticky thick dough forms and you can just get so creative with this recipe use peanut butter use agave add in dried fruit whatever you want we love chocolate if you haven't already noticed from this video so I made some chocolate black tahini energy bites and I just used damp pans to roll the dough into balls and these last forever in the fridge they make an awesome sweet breakfast or a snack on the go Harper asks for one every day and I happily give her one next for some protein we're just gonna drain and rinse some canned chickpeas super simple it's nice to have it already ready I love to save the juice of the chickpeas because it makes for a great egg replacer in baking but yeah it's pretty self-explanatory just drop the chickpeas into a strainer rinse them and then store them in a container with a lid and you pair this with the roasted veggies the rice and the crack sauce and you have an awesome meal last but not least is to make some tempeh bacon and like I said you don't have to make all these recipes these are just ideas and all these savory recipes mix and match so well for all kinds of different combinations so I just sliced some tempeh into strips and I put a little oil in a pan to brown them and I'm gonna just brown them on both sides fairly quickly just over medium heat I just want a little color I want them to cook through so they cooked on one side I flipped them over and I let them cook a little on the other side and while they're browning I made a marinade or a sauce using soy sauce maple syrup liquid smoke which you should be able to find at the grocery store and it adds so much depth of flavor and that's all it is and it's gonna make the most flavorful tempeh bacon I just pour this over the bacon, let it cook and simmer until the sauce thickens and coats the tempeh, caramelizing it, making it for this sticky, rich, delicious protein source that everyone in your family will love, even your non-plant eating family and friends. Harper loves this. It makes amazing Buddha bowls or even breakfast hashes with the roasted veggies and the kale and crack sauce. I'm getting so hungry making this video and yeah your rice should be done you can just let it cool store it in a container basically for storage if anything is warm or hot I let it cool completely before putting it in a container so like the brown rice and the roasted veggies I'll just let them cool completely before I put them in a container cover them and store them in the fridge I'm definitely a list maker and so I love writing down everything I want to make for meal prep and checking it off as I go. And yeah, that is a week of meal prep options for you guys. Now I'm going to just show you that for breakfast you could have the muffins, pair them with some nut butter and fruit. Another option for breakfast is to actually make brown rice pudding with your cold leftover brown rice. Just stir some milk and chia seeds into it and some sweetener. This day I added some mashed banana and cinnamon and you're just gonna simmer that over low heat until it becomes thick and creamy I ended up adding a little bit more maple syrup for sweetness for my husband and daughter because they love sweet food and I just stirred that in poured it into a bowl and of course topped it with some homemade peanut butter for some protein healthy fats flavor we love peanut butter some crunchy granola for texture and my daughter gobbled this up it's amazing warm or cold for some lunch ideas you can just use some store-bought bagel or bread and make a sandwich with the curried carrot hummus the tempeh bacon crack sauce of course which I just drizzle on everything and it goes so well with the curry and then some fresh veggies so I had some lettuce on hand this day and this made an amazing lunch with some of the raw veggies that I had already chopped up you could dip it in more hummus for extra protein and this was an amazing meal I will definitely be making this sandwich all the time Another lighter lunch would just be to add some of the tempeh bacon and roasted veggies to a bed of lettuce, add on some crack sauce, and then I love to add something crunchy to my salad, so I had these crispy broad beans, put those on top, and lunch was ready in about two minutes. For a hearty dinner meal, I like to make Buddha bowls with the brown rice, roasted veggies, you could either do the tempeh bacon or the chickpeas, add on some hummus, and crack sauce yep you're gonna see a lot of it in this video 
And those are some simple plant-based meal ideas. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you can't make everything, just try one new recipe or two. As I said, the PDF is linked below. It's free. All you have to do is click the link, put in your email address, and you'll be sent the PDF. And it has all the information, the recipes, different tips and tricks to give you a successful week of meal prep. Please leave your comments down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and what other videos you would like to see. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!